Okay. This is all cam. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to share our review with you for Snow White and the Huntsman. Or, in other words, how to waste two hours and seven minutes of your time and see a movie that rivals John Carter of Mars and Battleship for being really bad. You're being bad. Actually, we didn't. We haven't seen. Battleship. No, but we, 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 we couldn't get in to see Battleship because there were so many people wanting to go to it. This was one of those movies that I have been waiting to see for a very long time. And some of the initial reviews were not, let's just say they were skirting around issues. Okay, uh, what happened is, is I know because I, I was born in the industry that when reviewers are playing tippy-toe around something and saying, we're talking unanimously, they are saying that it was an opportunity lost. No. From the first moment the picture starts to the last scene in the movie, the whole bloody movie is out of focus. I mean, you can so, tell who doesn't take the class. I mean, you can actually see some of the times when somebody probably hit the cameraman and said, the damn thing's out of focus. And then, oh, oh, all of a sudden it all becomes in focus. It, oh. is, it is dirty, it is damp, it is muddy, it is really crappy looking photography. There is no need to make a dark movie that is so dark it looks like it should have been in black and white. Well, here's the interesting part. Okay, they're trying to rewrite Snow White. So we had Snow White, right? Um, the classic Disney fairy tale. Now they turned it on TV once upon a time, which beat everybody. So then everybody else was trying to do it. Then there was Mirror Mirror, which, which is Snow White silly. Yeah. But this and is then this is Snow White and the Huntsman, which is Snow White dark. Dark, really dark. Okay. In it's Snow White, the one that Disney took was a Grimm's fairy tale. It basically had, it had all the ingredients in it that you saw in Walt Disney's Snow White. Actually, this is Snow White dark and rewritten. Oh, God. Because there's a major plot that is totally different. Okay, uh, here, here's my, I'll raise my hand up and ask any of you that is watching this, if you had an army to specialize from going to kingdom and kingdom and taking it over while it was rich and prosperous, would you sit on your rear end there for like a decade while the while Snow White is growing to be an 18 year old and with the kingdom basically deteriorating the day you went, no you just go to another kingdom and conquer the next kingdom. So why in the world would you put your butt there? And second, since you already knew that if you already hated the little girl because she was so cute and adorable, why didn't you just kill her to begin with? Mm -hmm. Second, the huntsman basically took the girl out to kill her, not to go find her. Well, no, actually, wasn't he supposed to go out there and find her and bring her back to the queen? I know, and he basically, in Snow White, he took the girl into the woods to kill the oh, girl. Oh, in the classic Snow White. versus That's what any we, of the Snow Whites. Versus any, this movie. Any of the Snow Whites, even in the psychedelic Snow White. The bad cop takes the girl out into the... I actually, I, I was on a, on a stage with him at the doing with yeah, the bad, but, the but bad this king. one, the huntsman was specifically hired to go in there and get her and bring her back to the queen. Yeah. Because the idea was that the queen won. So, no matter... I'm looking at some of these things, I'm like, I guess he didn't see the movie. They didn't see the movie. They, they, okay, they also saw... <laughs> How do you know when somebody's reviewing something and they didn't see the movie because you saw the movie and it's totally different than what they... Oh, I know, but it just like I said, they're they're tippy toying because they basically what it means if you piss off the people over in his personal studios after really doing a bad review on Battleship, you may not get to go see the next movie they release. Since oh. Universal doesn't like online to begin with, they don't like YouTube. They don't like online, which is funny since Comcast is an online company. But, I know, uh, but see, part of it is they spent over what? How much? One hundred and seventy million dollars. One hundred seventy million. And we're looking at it, going, okay, where in the world did they spend the freaking money? Oh, okay, I, I know, some I know. CG effects. I know. What, what's that? It's a, they, it, if you if you go to see the movie, watch the titles at the end. You're going to see sixty-five millimeter. After one, it was an IMAX movie. You're going to see three D all over the place, folks. It was meant to be a three D conversion, and they said. Oh God, this thing sucks like Battleship, and we're not going to do this one again. So, you know, that's how you know that a movie's bad is when it's meant for a 3D conversion. They don't do the conversion. Mm -hmm. Because there's a, actually there's a lot of scenes that actually would work well in 3D. The fairy, the fairy scene, the fairyland scene. Oh, okay, there were scenes. Uh, was, was, you know, things kind of exploding and coming at the screen were meant that. Yeah, but like the things that all look, the butterflies okay. and all the ravens. But everything that I hate about the fact, okay. 
you do not use zoom lenses on movies. You basically set cameras up so you have a, a you have a, a standard, you know, like a, a 40, 40, 50 millimeter lens. You do the zoom stuff if you want something off in a distance. But these guys were doing, uh, they were basically using zoom things for close-ups. And they, they, you, well, God, when you're doing a close-up with a zoom lens, it really makes everything out of it. And then they don't have the, their, everything around you gets out of focus when you're doing a close-up with a zoom. They're using a lens probably like this, this far away from the person. Mm -hmm. It looked bad. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, I, I can, I guess I figure what happened was the cinematographer's kid was probably doing a job. And, you know, he said, you know, I don't think, I think I've been eating too much steak and kidney pie. He said, Junior, can you go operate the camera for me today? And mm -hmm. they go, da, da, ka, ka. okay, don't worry about the fact you're two months old. Just go over there and, okay, somebody will change your diaper for you. Every time your diaper's got to be changed, just push the thing that says focus. Just push that thing, big, big button that's got F on it. Da, da. Now, as far as the characters that they played, now Kristen Stewart, who plays Snow White, there's a lot of, to me, there's a lot of similarity between this and the movie, the character she plays in Twilight. Oh, that's what they said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you wanted to see, actually, she doesn't even really make a good looking boy. So to be, they say that she's this fairest woman. Okay, the, we'll put it this way Lily, the, I, this one I have heard. This is what I heard from people say Lily Cole, who plays a character in Collins? Co no, Lily Cole. Oh. Lily Cole is another actor. Lily Collins is another. Lily Cole, is another another person's daughter. They said that she looks so much better than Kirsten Stewart. They don't know why in the world they would cast her in that role. Well, they were hoping some of the Twilight fans would come to see her. This is what they're hoping for. The problem is she looks really anemic wearing boy clothes. Chris Hemsworth, who played the Huntsman. He, he basically. He, 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 could, play, he, he played the character that I've seen him play in other things. He played Thor. I mean, okay, yeah. the only time I've seen. They Chris, just call him a huntsman now. Only in, in, in Star Trek has he played somebody that wasn't a big hulking brute. Mm -hmm. Everything else is the same muscle bound oaf. And, uh, and, and here's our biggest problem we've got to play out. Chris Hemsworth is from, uh, from Australia. And he has an Australian accent. And, and Sam Califan is from England. He has an English accent. And Charlize Theron is from South Africa, and she has a British accent. None of them keep into a British accent during the entire movie. They drift in and out. I mean, when they said one moment they'd be Scots, another moment they'd be British. See, as moment. you can tell, he notices all of these things. Oh, God, too. it was horrible. And I'm thinking more of the entertainment. But, what they did do magnificently for Charlize Theron is they, her makeup, making her youthful as well as aging No, they didn't I make her youthful. She looks like that to start with. They made her old. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Her, through her various stages of being older. Yeah, she got old and older, but the, mm -hmm. like I said, but nobody in any worse, anybody's imagination would consider uh, uh, Kirsten Stewart as a challenge to even do an older. I mean, you, she really had to get older for her not to be competition. Oh, it's, who's the fairest of them all? Yeah. Well, because part of it is Charlene Theron is gorgeous anyway. Yeah, but she's only and, 37 years old. And then, the, you know, they put her in these magnificent gowns. Which they did get. The they, they did get. Well, the costumer deserves lots of credit. Well, we probably went to their version of our, you know, uh, we no longer have where you go down on a, down off of Paramount and go to the general place. Oh, I think I'll pick this armor's outfit, this outfit, this outfit, this outfit. Oh, that looks like something that they wore over in Cleopatra. Let's put it on. That thing did look like the outfit from Cleopatra from 1967. Are you serious? Yeah. Virtually nothing she had didn't look like it wasn't bought off the rack somewhere. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Sam Claflin, who plays, it now says William. And you, I thought it used to say Prince William. He used to say Prince William, but then somebody dawned on him. His father is a duke. There are not a lot of princes that come from dukedoms. Ah, so yeah. do they change? And then, too, they yeah, also... There could be another change. But... Um, the, the dwarfs ended up only six dwarfs and not seven because they killed one of the dwarfs off. Well, and it's also kind of odd seeing somebody like Ian McShane, who you know is quite a bit taller and he's not a dwarf, yeah. be a dwarf. But they spent a lot of money making tall guys small. Maybe that's where they spent the money. No, <laughs> they didn't spend the money doing that because I could do that with a camera. You okay. basically set the person over, it, it, it's called, oh, Death that's right, I forgot they don't know anything about depth of field. They need a young camera, a young cameraman, 
Okay, you know why you see a thing that says BSC, which is British Society of Cinematographers, or ASC, American Society of Cinematographers? Because these guys know what they do with a the camera. They know about depth of field. Mm -hmm. It's called, all of these cameras have screw-on, screw-off lenses. You take your cruddy lens and put it there, and then you sit there and shoot. You set the, the big tall guys here, the other guys out there. Guess what it does to the people that are behind them? It makes them look smaller. And they're all in focus. That's a good one. Here's a tip, folks. If anything around a person that's in focus is out of focus, it's because they're using a zoom lens. Uh, basically, a, a, non, a fixed focal length camera, everything is in focus. If you're, okay, if I am back here, I'm just as in focus as if I am up here. Hey, guess what that camera is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fixed focal length. Uh, so, did, was there anything that you liked in this movie? Well, actually there was. It, 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 I'm going to bring this out. If you want to piss off Mayor Bloomberg and the President of the United States who's gonna, who are going to ban this, you know, come this fall, we had four of these and two of these. So, basically, because the movie was so god darn bad and slow and boring, even though okay, the fight sequences were not that good because I, I'm going to tell you something else, folks. Right. If you watch this, if you watch the total, they didn't even bother increasing the size of the, of the, uh, the people on horseback. That you could see in some of the scenes that the, old, the, the, the end of the line of where the people on horseback was, they did not have an army. All the soldiers they had was that. So, so even those scenes were really bad. And then they're, 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 like they're, you know, they're, they're, about, they're shooting arrows at guys like a half a mile away and they're knocking people off a horse. That ain't going to happen in real life. Any, any world is not going to happen. And then they're firing siege equipment at people charging the castle. No, that's what you fire at the castle, into the castle, because you've got soldiers and you've got you've got infantry fighting against, uh, uh, you know, fighting and almost on the verge of winning against cavalry. My father was a cavalry officer, and I was in an awful lot of westerns. Cavalry is used to, to wipe out infantry, and then once you're inside the castle, the castle is yours. You're never going to chase the guys out again. That's when the guys inside the castle start fleeing for the next hill. But. Um, <laughs> But other than that, other than that, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's really, it really movie sucks. That's my review. My uh, I mean, coming from. Okay, we paid to go in. Part which, part of it is we paid to go in. Yeah. Because it's been a movie I've been looking forward to seeing for a very long time, and even though I'm like, there's gotta be something good in this movie. No. Because it, <laughs> she found out Sam Calvin is much shorter than what his IMDb is. Also, he's barely much taller than than Kirsten Stewart. And Chris Hemsworth is, not, well, you understand why when they say six foot three and Chris Evans is listed as six foot three in the Avengers, and he is smaller than Chris Evans, they both can't be six three. Mm -hmm. you know, so uh, we found out that, that, that this is how Kirsten Stewart rides a horse. <laughs> and every now, oh, she did, she did, about halfway through the movie, she smiled. So I think she smiled two or three times in the movie. Okay. So that could be an Oscar-winning performance because she is of the uh, the pouty actress mode. And she did have she did have shed some tears. Yeah, she even did. for the queen. Yeah, you know, it was it was basically a god awful bad movie. See, and as you could probably guess, we spent money for it once. Would we spend money for it a second time? I didn't even think we should have spent it the first time, but she wanted to go see it, so we went over. Yeah. But sometimes you have to waste money to know that this basically, I would have thought that John Carter was as bad as possible we could get. This movie does John Carter justice of being really bad. Because there's nothing redeeming about this whole movie. Nothing. You know, I mean, at the end, you know, you always look for this closure. You know, it's like the classic, the, the prince wins the... Right? The no, fair maiden? The, uh, she just becomes queen. Hensworth said specifically he, they're going to make a sequel out of it. They're going to have a sequel. He's going to be the star of the sequel. It's all basically, I think by the, somewhere along the movie they gave up on the, making a movie into Snow White and decided basically the, you know, the Huntsman is the only character that's going to work. So. <laughs> I don't know. See, sometimes this is what happens during 
what, the making of a film? Yeah. During the editing of the film? So I, I guess until we can try to find a better movie to review. We'll find one for you. This is old camera. And this is not a spring chicken. We'll hear it yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information? You can go to www.montegoble.net on the net or www.nbnnewsvideoweb.com or you can go to the movies and waste your time and piss off Mayor Bloomberg and the President of the United States. Hey, at least we got larger so we could have endless refills. Yeah.